These are the faces of the new space race. The four astronauts due to head to the moon as soon as February, the first time humans have left the relative safety of Earth's orbit since Apollo 17 in 1972. They'll loop around the moon on a 10-day mission, preparing the way for a lunar landing in 2027. And they carry the weight of NASA's and the White House's determination that America will beat China back to the surface. How do you feel about your role in Space Race 2.0? Do you sense that weight of expectation? We've definitely listened to that, and, and we understand you know, why there's this perspective of a race and, and the benefit to just having that realistic viewpoint of what's going on in the world. We're just going to pursue excellence, like I talked about before. That's how you win a space race, and that's just how you move our countries forward. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition and liftoff of Artemis 1. Their rocket and capsule have only flown once before, a test flight that looped around the moon without anybody on board. The astronauts were due to repeat the mission last year, but problems, including with the critical heat shield, delayed a human launch until now. It'll take the crew over the far side of the moon that always faces away from Earth. We could see parts of the moon that never have had human eyes lay upon them before. And believe it or not, human eyes are one of the best scientific instruments that we have. Our geologists are beyond excited for our eyes to look at the moon, and we've been training how to turn those observations into tangible science for them. The astropolitics in the new space race loom large. China has already beaten the US to land a robotic spacecraft on the far side of the moon, and it wants to put Taikonauts on the surface by 2030. It matters who's first. If China is to sustain a significant presence uh, on, on the moon in, in the century to come, I would expect the United States and India uh, and perhaps Europe as well to do something similar, to say, hey, don't forget about us, we're here as well. And if you, need, if you want to develop rules and best practices in space, you can't do it without us. That's one small step for man. The world was transfixed by the grainy images of the Apollo missions. NASA hopes the new Artemis space program will give a new generation a front row on history, with humans back on the surface, this time to stay. Thomas Moore, Sky News.